two videos a day? They cannot hang with the big hoss. I promise you, bro. I promise you. Rut Tester Atlanta had a couple of you guys comment on my previous terrain deformation rut tester video and say some things like, hey, Spencer, I noticed quite a bit of terrain deformation on the Atlanta track, specifically before the wall jump and a couple things like that. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to come in here. I know how much you guys love these rut tester videos. Uh, so I was like, dude, we got to go check this out. We got to see what this track is doing. And... Um, just had to come in there because I know with these milestone games, it's always so weird how there's like there's like two or three of the tracks that are going to be like twice the amount of terrain deformation than any of the other tracks in the game. That's typically how it is. And there's some tracks where there's just like absolutely none, uh, <coughs> except the case of MXGB 2020, where there was literally no track that had any. But uh, let's not get into that here. <laughs> But yeah, so we'll see what this does. You can kind of see what it's doing on the first lap. But yeah, just remind you guys as well, um, if you want to get in my Discord, all you got to do is DM me on Instagram at Spencer Turley, no spaces and no capital letters, and I will get you in the Discord. And uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably been doing that. I've been noticing it just from the views and the kind of, uh, you know, retention of everybody, uh, you know, coming back and watching my videos. So I really appreciate that. But yeah, I've been uploading like an absolute crazy person uh, over the past like week here. So, you know, you got to make sure you have that notification bell turned on for my channel or you're not even going to get half of the notifications from YouTube. So either way, you can definitely kind of already see what it's doing here. Um, I notice it specifically when you there's like an area where you cross back over. You're kind of like diagonally crossing back over the, the specific ruts that you you, you know, you made on the, the first start straight or, you know, wherever the track crosses back over to that. That's where I, I notice it probably the most right off the bat. Um, so let's see what we what we got here. We'll try to run quite a few laps on this. But right here in particular, I can feel it, you know, really vibrating the bike because it's uh, you're crossing back over all those ruts that you hit. Dude, you can definitely quad in there. We are going to have to do some quad daddy fatty lines right there. It's triple right here. Ooh, interesting little character on that jump face coming out of that corner. I like how I like how they, they gave some character to some of these jump faces and some of the whoops and different areas on the track where it does, feels like you come off of the jump face a little bit different every single time you hit it. And the way you develop that is with character to the jump faces, you know. Um, okay, interesting rhythm here that I, <laughs> let me just, uh, absolutely die off of the side of the bike there. Haven't really, it's my first time ever on this track as per usual with these videos, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Interesting little spot where you can kind of jump around the sand wall right there. Interesting how they did that. Um, this seems like this track's going to be one of those where it's not like super visible, terrain deformation but it may be more like actually physically feeling it on the track you know what i'm saying i'm gonna have to hit that corner wide as shit to be able to hit that quad in okay that triple right there is not too bad but you don't want to over jump it because then it makes jumping to that table a little bit difficult there but you can see it definitely similar terrain deformation to the san diego track that i whoa spency boy Similar to the San Diego deformation, there's all those ruts that you're seeing before the um, the over under bridge section. There was already there at the beginning. That I did not actually develop that with terrain deformation. So whoever commented that might have got a little confused and thought that was like terrain deformation that developed that, but it's actually not. It could here in a couple laps. We'll see, but. That was the one place on the track where you could definitely tell that was like pre-made looking ruts uh, uh, going up right before the over-under sec section there. <clears throat> so there's the quad daddy. There she is. That's a cool way to hit that. So then you can do like a quad triple there. Oof. And then it's triple, triple off the table here. Okay, okay. Feels pretty good. Interesting little area right there where you got to get on the brakes. Let's see if it develops any right here before this wall. But yeah, there, don't get it mistaken though. I mean, there's not a crazy amount of terrain deformation in this game. 
But the whole point, the thing I always kind of try to do is compare it to other, you know, milestone games out there. Like if you compare this this to Reflex, this is a joke, uh, terrain deformation wise. This is actually literally a joke. But when you compare this to MXGP 2020, it's like, this is not too bad. You see what I'm saying? It's all in what you compare it to. That's like everything to everything. And when I'm talking about a specific game, I try to keep it in the in the realm of comparing it to other games in that certain franchise. You know what I mean? I know that I've heard a lot of people talking about the terrain deformation of MXGP3. Uh, a lot of people have been going back to MXGP3 when they talk about you know, when I start talking about different aspects to these newer milestone games. So I'll have to go back and take a look at that on MXGP3. Maybe do a little MXGP3 rut tester video. I feel like that would get some views on YouTube. We may have to do that pretty soon. But uh, let me take the outside here. Okay, and then you can triple there. Yeah, that's probably the faster line. But yeah, like it's certainly not making hardcore ruts that are actually going to grab you or anything like that. I mean, you can fill them a little bit. And it's rutting down the jump faces just a little bit, but it ain't doing a whole lot. This is like similar terrain deformation to probably the most we've ever had. It, it may be a little less than it was in like MXGP3 or whatever. I've, I've heard a lot of you guys talking about that. Um, but even with MXGP3, like I promise you MXGP3 was not making actual like dig into it reflex level i promise you it wasn't doing terrain deformation like that even in mxgp3 i know a lot of you guys get real nostalgic about mxgp3 but like i promise you it wasn't doing that um it may have been doing more than a little bit more than this but it wasn't doing anything crazy you know what I mean? It, it just wasn't. There's never been a milestone game where it was actually making real ruts that you're going to dig into and all that type of shit. It just really wasn't doing that. It never has done that. And it's really not any different here with Supercross 4. Um, so hopefully in a future milestone game, they'll actually start to really develop this whole terrain default. I mean, I've been saying it forever now, but they've just still kind of been... Kind of been all over the place with it, like made it lower in MHGB 2020, and then they're kind of starting to bring it back now with Supergross 4. It's like, when the hell are they ever going to actually really put a sure enough terrain deformation system in their games? I don't know. I have no idea. Also, I had another guy comment something like, Whenever I said, like, you know, it's making little ruts in Supergross 4 that you can just barely fill, he commented something like, well, there's you can just barely see the ruts in real life Supercross or whatever, trying to kind of make the argument like this is plenty of terrain deformation. Uh, no. This is nowhere near like how the ruts form in real life. This is nowhere near. Dude, like, they have, like, ruts that are going to absolutely, you know completely steer the bike for you basically in real life supercross depending on what kind of track they get on and what lap you're on you know there is ruts i'm talking ruts i'm not just talking about these push through them type ruts i'm talking about literal ruts like what you would make with pre-made on a track that's how a lot of real life supercross tracks are so that's kind of the trick to it right with terrain deformation in any of these games it's like you're trying to get it where it, it, it eventually is almost making like pre-made rut level ruts and roughness and shit on the track but it's like up to that point of develop uh, developing it to that point you want it to be somewhat cushiony to where you can kind of push through it and, and develop it but once it starts to really form those hardcore individual ruts you want it to like actually make a rut and not just continue to be that blow it out, not really even a solid rut there. You see what I'm saying? So that's kind of the trick to it with terrain deformation. And that was something that was really cool about Reflex was the fact that the, the ruts felt kind of soft at first, but then they started to form that more hardcore, you know, solid rut the more laps you got into it. So... That's one thing I feel like they really need to focus on. I swear to God, if any of these motocross game companies hired me, just to give them advice, just to like help them in the development process, they would be so much further ahead. They would be so much further ahead because I, I just know how that shit works. 
Like, I know how it is, and I've made so many tracks on MX Simulator. I know how track design is and skill gap and how the terrain deformation works and reflex and what made that so good and all these different elements. I could really help one of these motocross gaming companies. Now, I'm not saying I can make one of these games from scratch by myself. Obviously, I know some of you guys are going to go down the road of like, well, if you, can, if you can do it, why don't you just do it, Spencer? Why don't you just make your own game, Spencer? If you can do it so good, if you, if you know what you're supposed to do, why don't you just make your own game, Spencer? No, I don't have the fucking resources to go in there and make a full-blown AAA motocross game. That's not the point, you ignoramus. I'm just trying to give advice, trying to talk about how they can improve certain elements of the game and make their games better. You know, if I was hired in a position along with a development team, that's what I'm talking about when I say things like, if they just hired me, I could help make their games better. I don't mean me making the game entirely by myself. That's not what the fuck I'm saying when I say that, but... Either way, let them hate, talk shit, talk shit, right? So not much deformation in the sand here, just a little bit. I thought there was going to be a little more there, to be honest. So we're probably on like lap 10 at this point here, if, I'm, if, I'd, had to, if I'd have to guess. You can definitely not really see it making any one individual rut here coming across. I mean, it's doing a little bit, you know, don't get it twisted. You can definitely feel it a little bit on the track, but it's more of that like vibe, adding more vibration, slightly more of a roughness feeling to the track. It's not really affecting the bike. Even on this Atlanta track, it's not really affecting the bike. I mean, you can see all the rut. It looks like there's like seven ruts coming out of that corner, but... It's not really like having seven pre-made ruts that you can dig into coming out of the corner. You see what I'm saying? It's just not. I think it would have helped him a lot maybe maybe adding some pre-made, like little smaller pre-made micro ruts out of some of the corners on some of these tracks. I think would have helped their case a little bit on making it feel like you could actually dig into some of the ruts on some of the tracks. I know there there is like an inside pre-made berm on some of the tracks. I know that uh, San Diego, I think, has one before the sand triple uh, rhythm that they have. But other than that, you know, they've never really done much of that, like adding in actual pre-made, like smaller ruts in the corners. You know, they've had pre-made inside berms and stuff in some of these games, but they've never really had like a pre-made inside multiple pre-made inside little ruts and shit. Um, and not a whole lot of pre-made roughness and ruts, pre-made ruts going up a jump face. They don't have a whole lot of that. You know, you can see it a little bit right there, but not a whole lot. Um, so either way, man, I mean, I don't really think this is going to do much more than this, to be honest with you. I mean, you can kind of cheese that a little bit, cut, cut both of those, uh, that, uh, split lane section there. Oh, good one. Knocking that tough block out, dog. Good one. Tactics. Got some tactics out here. I've heard some people complain about the AI of this game. I may have to go in there and take a look at it. Um, Kind of make a video on that as well. I've heard some people really complaining about the AI, so we'll have to maybe take a look-ski at that in a future video. But yeah, definitely let me know down in the comments some uh, different kind of videos I should make on this game. I've certainly been looking at that, and I appreciate everybody that's you know been sticking around, watching the videos, participating, interacting in the comments, and things like that. I have been looking at it. I have been paying attention to it. I just wanted to, you know, let you guys know on that. But yeah, this track's not going to do much more than this. I can just kind of already tell you. It's just really not. You might be able to jump all the way to here off of the finish line. I don't know. I do not know. But yeah, they certainly could have had like an inside pre-made rut in that corner. Um, you can definitely go around that little sand jump there it's rutting up the jump faces a little bit i would almost argue that there was more terrain deformation on the that first uh san diego track that i rode on for my first terrain deformation rut tester video i could definitely just about argue there was more on that than there is on this track this is more of a hard packy little bit and you can notice on the more hard pack tracks it's not going to be as visual but it's going to be slightly more physical feeling on the track whereas if you get on more of a sandy vibe track it's going to be more 
more towards the visual side. So it's going to look like there's more ruts, but you're not going to actually be able to physically feel them as much as you would maybe on a more hard pack track like this. So it's kind of all just how you want to look at it there. But yeah, this is not going to do a whole lot more than this, guys. Um, so there's really no point in me continuing to, to run laps on this here. And this is with the full gate. You know, you could just imagine if you got in here with just one bike, it's going to take you literally like 50 laps to, to get hardly anything on the track, on this track in particular. But um, yeah, so they're still kind of doing this not really terrain deformation, but kind of sort of type vibe here with Supercross 4. They've been doing this with a ton of the milestone games, so hopefully they will actually dedicate some time to a full-blown terrain deformation system in the next game, or at least, uh, you know, some more pre-made ruts or something. We can only hope, boys. We can only hope. So, either way, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. Later, dudes.